CEO of Bursault Masteller Worldwide, what is your perception of the PR market? Do you foresee any quivering versus the advertising slowdown? Well, I think the PR market has generally held up better than advertising. I think that's because issues, I think, continue to grow, and particularly in the financial crisis. A lot of companies had new issues. I think the move to digital uh, is helping PR. Uh, I think the transformation of the media industry is broadening the media so that there are so many more sources and contacts now that, in fact, the kind of communications work we do is becoming more important. So PR felt a slowdown like everybody else, but a slowdown that was much less than advertising, and things have really picked up really since about the middle of last year through now. Let's speak about evidence-based. Why this positioning? Isn't it obvious for a PR agency? I think for, for too long, too much of P, PR has been seat of the pants. By evidence-based, we mean looking at the data, looking at the surveys, looking at the analytics, look at the other resources to really understand what are the facts behind the positioning, behind a PR campaign, and how is that campaign working? Really getting into place those tools for on-target measurement. We think that's going to make clients more comfortable, that they're doing the right thing when they spend money on PR, and it's going to also validate our campaigns. I think under, other industries have benefited from evidence-based, and this is a critical differentiating element for Burson and Marsteller. We are the experts at evidence-based. During your presentation this morning, you spoke about social and traditional media. What is your vision of this major trend? Well, obviously social media has taken off in an enormous way. People today are looking for information on social media, through Twitter, they're getting information like this video on Facebook, but also remember the traditional media and online media have a very important relationship. Online media oftentimes comes as a reaction or explosion from things that are seen in traditional media. And that good campaigns leverage both traditional media and how they work, and the new media and social media to put it together into a single cross-media campaign. Do you have a last message for all our fans of BM Marcel Marcel in Paris? All I can say is we're having a great meeting here in Madrid. Uh, we're really very much, I think, enjoying Madrid, Spain, and looking at the work before us, looking at how strong Burson Marsteller has performed over the last four years, and how to use this as a moment of opportunity to launch us forward to be number one. Thank you. Thank you.